I'd like to give you an update on the process of importing PowerPoint slides into ProPresenter 6. In my main tutorial on that, called How to Import PowerPoint Full Files Four Ways, I noted that it was difficult to find a way to advance slides by clicking when you imported a PowerPoint file as a PowerPoint file. In recent iterations of the program, still within ProPresenter 6, they made some improvements on the process. And I'd like to show you the improved process and also one thing you have to be careful about. I'm going to click on the File menu at the top, click on Import, click on Import PowerPoint, the third item down. Then I'll select my file, which happens to be our verbal announcements in our situation. And then I will use the Import Native PowerPoint Slides option, which is now at the top. Click on OK. And in a few moments, it will import the presentation. I'm going to drag it down into my playlist. And uh, then in my playlist, I will click on the slides. Now what happens, which did not happen before, is when I click on the slide in my display window, it, adva it advances both in my preview window and on my display screen. That's a great advance from the last time I tried it in an earlier uh, coding of ProPresenter 6. There is one got you I ran into. In fact, one of my operators did on Sunday. They were on the last slide of this presentation, and in the PowerPoint, it was set to advance after 11 seconds. And so what happened was, once the slide was on the screen for more than that period of time, it immediately began to advance, and, and what the people in the audience saw was slide number one in this PowerPoint series again. I went messing around this morning looking for an option, and the workaround that I found was I had to strip out of the last slide in PowerPoint uh, any animations and transitions. And when I strip those, now I'm able to bring it in and that last si slide can stay on the screen until the operator advances it by clicking on uh, another slide or uh, another component in the playlist. So that's one thing that still is, needs a little bit of work, but at least we have it working a lot better than it did before when you try to import PowerPoint into ProPresenter 6. We hope this has been helpful. Again, if you'd like to know all the ways to import, I recommend checking out our video called How to Import PowerPoint Files Four Ways. Thank you so much.